Come here now, girl. Hi, Bon Bon here. How you doing? Do you ever get this blue shiny stuff underneath your roads and you wonder where the hell it's come from and how the hell you get rid of it? Well, you're watching the right tutorial. I refer to this effect as the blue mantle effect. Why? Because well, under the Earth's crust we have this glowy red stuff called the Earth's mantle. This is glowy blue stuff, so I refer to it as blue mantle. You're welcome, you can use that as much as you like. Make sure you tell everybody where you learnt it from. What causes it? Is it the Earth's mantle? Well, no, it's not the Earth's mantle. It's something completely more well obvious, really. If we come underneath this bridge and look up, we can see we've got a tear in the space-time continuum. Yes, Star Trek fans, I'm with you. <laughs> I have your back. It's um, it's the fabric of the actual the environment, which is like a a big stretch of rubber turf and terrain that's been stretched so tight that it gets a little bit of a tear in it and we're going to get rid of that completely today that's why i have some bridges to show you how to do it let's start off with uh the obvious one uh come down here and we'll just show you the uh the actual practice by using move it because move it why not move it what i'm going to do is i'm going to marquee select this area and i'm going to show you the nodes We've got a node here, and then we've got nodes for the road right here. It's really all so tightly pushed together that this has just been stretched just too tight. It just doesn't want to know. It does not want to know. It's easily fixed, though. If I just select this one node, I'm going to come down here a little bit, and I'm just going to show you. I'm going to push that node back using Move It, and there we go. It's disappeared already. As simple as that. I'll do the same on this side. Select that node. Push it back. Try again. Select that mode. Node, push it back. And it's gone. Only problem with moving individual nodes to move it is sometimes your road doesn't remain particularly straight afterwards. And you have to spend some time like adjusting it and tweaking it and making it making it straight and so on again. But anyway, that's that's that first one. The second one, another way of doing it without having to move the nodes about, is to insert a new node. We're going to put a road in. Quite close, how about, about here? Midway up to that point there. And then we're going to immediately delete it. Bulldoze, boom, it's gone now. But what we do have now is the node has remained. Now we're going to go to Fine Road Tool. Select the elevated key. There we are. Choose upgrade. And we'll get rid of this. Sorry. That, try that again. Fine road tool. Choose upgrade. Just that section there. Done. Come down here. Disappeared. Because the elevated's starting further back, the game knows that it doesn't have to stretch the uh, the ground terrain to match. We can do the same over here. We could upgrade all the way to there, or we can put an extra node in. I'll put a smaller road in. About, uh, how about here? There we go, that connects in. Delete the road we just made. We now have the new node. We're going to do the upgrade button. And we're going to choose the same road that we were using previously. A bit embarrassing otherwise. And uh, we come back out of here. Yep. That's, uh, that's a bit better. Haven't quite matched up the road in the middle. That's where Net Picker would come in. Shall we use Net Picker? I think we should. Okay, so we'll choose Net Picker. And we'll choose this road. And there we go. Upgraded. Lovely. Right. Um, I think that's starting too far back now, actually. I think we just need to uh, downgrade one of these roads. Where are we? Back to here. We've got the right road. Set it to ground there that looks much better next one along we are going to have a look instead of moving the nodes perhaps you do want the road to start literally right on the edge there well then we're going to have to mask this tear in the space-time continuum with something 
Now there are a few things on the workshop that you can subscribe to. They're called retaining walls. But if you don't want to subscribe to a retaining wall, let's get that button shut down there. If you don't want to subscribe to a retaining wall, there is an alternative already within the game. You're going to need a mod called Key Anarchy. Then if you go into, uh, I'm going to use find it to find keys. There we are, typed in key into find it. And we've got a key. Now normally you can only put these along the water set. You need water, clearly, because it's a key. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that in there. We've got here one, two, three nodes there. I'm going to put an extra one in. There we are. So we've now got four nodes on this, this network. There. Uh, move it again. Marquee select the whole lot. Oh, we've only got th we've only got three. That's a bit disappointing. We'll try that again. You can tell I'm doing this as live, can't you? <laughs> right. Okay. We'll try again. One, two. Th hopefully, we'll have the extra nodes this time. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to build it build it in a different place. We need a bit more room. Sorry about this, guys and gals. This is me being a fail today. Select the key. All the way across to there. We've got one. Yeah, we've got now got the fourth node. One, two, three, four. This is what we want. Going to select them with move it. Line it. Select it with move it. Boom. And oh, come on. There we go. Hang on. Hang on a second. Failing badly. Why are you not? That's the one. Sorry, even even the best, and even me, can have mistakes and errors. Right, we're going to drag this over and place it under the road there. Now, get down close and have a good look at where you're putting it. We want to drag it out just enough that it's hiding that mantle effect. Maybe pushing it up right to the edge of the road at the bottom. And then if we just select the individual node at this end. Come on, there we go. I'm just going to move that into the environment a little bit and maybe put a bit of a bend on it. And the same at this end. Move this into the environment again. Put a bit of a bend on it. I might even just want to drop that down into the environment a little bit. And that's pretty good at this end as well. So that's, uh, that's hiding it quite nicely. The middle section, if we wanted it to be raised a little bit, we just choose the two nodes, one at each end, and we're just going to do a little bit of a raise with the page up buttons to about there. So now we've, we've hidden the blue mantle effect using the retaining walls. You can taper these down as well on the ends, but uh, if I do this, it'll affect the terrain as well. So anyway. Could do the same on the other side, but I don't think you need to see me show you the same thing twice. It's as simple as that. So that's, that's masking it. That's changing the uh, start location for the elevated highways. This last one. You may notice that we have got a little bit of blue mantle shining through the bottom as well. That's because this road that we're using across here as you can see, we've got like break here. We've got more space-time continuum breakages here as well. It's a ground level road. That's what it is. We're telling it this is to be built at ground level, but it's a straight road. Let me just go into the tool here. Straight slope is switched on and it's set to ground level. We're just going to change this to elevated. Hit the upgrade key. We'll do one there. Oh, there you go, done on both sides. Both sides at once with one shot, that's quite impressive. We've still got a little bit of an issue down here as well, but um, that, that was what was causing that one. It was a ground level road used as an elevated road. Right, okay, so uh, you... Uh, oh, hang on, we've got a little bit of mantle from a distance. Sometimes when you pull back... Ah, you can see we've still got a little bit of mantle here. Ah, that's not good enough, bomb bomb. Sorry, I was about to say goodbye, but I've not done the job. I've not finished the job. Let's finish the job. Choose this. Push it back a little bit more. Yeah. We just uh, try and get all this to pop into. Uh... Is that is that better? Did we did we get rid of it this time? I think we did. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching, for commenting, for liking, and for subscribing. There'll be more tutorials coming along. 
very, very soon. I've been Bon Bon B. You've been very, very welcome. Please, please, please hit the subscribe button. I could do with hitting a million subscribers by the end of the week. But failing that, be nice knowing you. <laughs> Have a great week. I'll see you very, very soon.